Welcome to question 3 of the November 2021 paper, paper 1. Alright, as with the other two questions, table 3, the information is given on the right, and the questions are to your left. Alright, uh, we've got four um, columns, the net full storage capacity, the percentage for this week, or the percentage for last week, and the percentage for last year. So we'll use all of this information to answer the questions. And of course, all of these readings were taken on 5 April 2021. Let's go to the questions 3.1.1. Determine the date on which the reading of the dam level was taken last week. All right, remember the date of the re um, readings was 5 April. So you, what would the date be last week? Remember 5 April 2021. All right, so if you want to go back to last week, that means we need to go back seven days. So if the readings are taken on 5 April, uh, let's go back seven days for April, 3rd of April, 2nd of April, 1st of April, 31st of March, 30th of March, 29th of March. That will take you back to seven days ago last week. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 days ago was... 29th of March 2021 3.1.2 Write down in words the actual value of the net full storage capacity for Gauteng. We must write it in words. For Gauteng, the net full, we're still using the first column, the net full storage capacity is 120. So remember, this is in million meter, meters cubed. So you must write it in full. So we'll say 128. Don't forget the million meters cubed. All right, now we've written the number in full. And we've written it in words. Let's move on to the next question. 3.1.3. Identify the province with the third lowest. The third lowest dam level percentage. And this must be for last year. So we're using the last year column, which is the last column. And we want the province with the third lowest percentage. All right. So the Western Cape is the lowest with 40. And the Eastern Cape is the second lowest with 56. The third lowest would be KZN with 61%. So the third lowest, that's KwaZulu Natal. Determine which province had the highest percentage increase in dam levels from last year, which is the last column, to this week, which is the third column. So we want the province with the highest percentage increase from last year to this week. All right, let's uh, go through the provinces one by one, starting with Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape uh, actually decreased. It was 56% last year and 55% this week. So that was actually a decrease. Now, Free State, on the other hand, Last year was 77%, and this week, 100%. So that's an increase of 23%. Uh, you can check the other provinces um, at your own time, but you'll find that there's no province which had a bigger increase than Free State. So Free State is actually the province with the highest percentage increase in the dam levels from last year to this week. So moving on to the next question, 3.1.5. Calculate the missing value D. So if you look at D, this is D is in the last week column. If the mean percentage storage capacity for last week was 83%. Now, this is an inverse question. You should know that as a grade 12 learner because here you are not asked to calculate the mean. The mean is given to you. The question tells you that the mean is 83%, and you must actually use the mean to calculate the missing value, D. All right, so 
to answer this question, we would follow the same pattern we would use to calculate the mean. So we add everything. We get the total of everything. Uh, so we're going to add the last week column starting with D. So we've got D plus 99. Adding all those values. And right at the end, we've got another D. We must add that also. And of course, to calculate the mean, we divide the total by the number of those values or those observations. In this case, we've got nine provinces. So we're going to divide this by nine. And we are told that the mean value is equal to 83. So 83%. This is how we set it up. So we're going to use this equation to solve for D. All right, let's start by adding. We can add the Ds. We've got two Ds. That D plus that D will give you 2D. And then the numbers we can add using a calculator from 99 to 105. Let's use a calculator to add. All right, so if we add the numbers, we get 610.37. Remember, all of this is over at 9, and we are told that the mean is equal to 83. All right, now that we've uh, simplified, now we must start applying inverses. Now, remember, the inverse of addition is subtraction, and the inverse of multiplication is division. All right, so just remember... We don't want the 9, we don't want the 637, we don't want the, we just want D. This is all we're looking for, D, the value of D. That's what the, the equation asked you. So we need to get rid of all the numbers around the D so that we are left with only D. And how do we get rid of the numbers around the D? We cancel them using by applying the inverse on the other side of the equation. Let's start with the 9. This 9 is being divided, right? This 9 is being divided, so to cancel it, What's the inverse of division? Multiplication. So we multiply it uh, on the right-hand side of the equation. So let's start there. So we've got 83 times 9, which will give us, so we've got 2D plus 637, 83 times 9 is 747. All right, now secondly, this 637 here, we also don't want because uh, we only want D. So how do we get rid of the 637? The 637 is added. So to cancel it, we can subtract it on the other side. So we've got 747. So if we minus 637, we are left with Remember, we still have 2D on the uh, left-hand side, and uh, 647 minus 637 will give you 110. We're not done. Remember, we don't want the 2 uh, in front of the D. We only want the D. Now, the 2 has been multiplied. So to cancel it on the uh, left-hand side, we can divide by it on the right-hand side. So then 110 divided by 2 will give us the value of D, which is 55. If you are still struggling to understand the inverses, uh, please go see a video on grade 12 inverses. I will put it uh, in the link of this video. Very important. Moving on. All right. Determine as a fraction the probability of randomly selecting a province with the dam levels exceeding 100%. So it must be more than 100% for this week and last week. All right, so we're going to look at this week and the last week column. In this week column, the only province we can see that is more than 100% is 102 for Northern Cape, right? That's the only one that's more than 100% for this week. Um, and even for last week, uh, the Northern Cape is more than 100 So. Northern Cape will be the only province that's more than 100 for both this week and last week. So we only got 
one province out of nine. So that's the probability as a fraction. Moving on to the next question, 3.1.7. Calculate the actual net full storage capacity of the free state for last week. So the actual means we want the actual number. So then we're going to use the first column uh, for free state that would be uh, but remember this is in million meters cubed so in millions all right and of course we're gonna then calculate it for last week and the percentage for last week uh, is 99 percent right can you see that for the free state the percentage for last week is 99 percent so we're gonna multiply that number by 99 percent all right so we go to our calculator all right so if you multiply uh, 15,657 million by 99 percent this is the answer that you get don't forget this is in million now the last trick of the question is that we must give the actual number so you can't have a million in your answer this is also very easy to simplify we know that a million has six zeros uh, right a million should have six zeros but two of those zeros are taken by this 43 so to write this out as a million uh, without the comma uh, though the 43 will take two of the zeros and you add four more zeros to write the actual number so the actual number will be at the first zero and the other three zeros so that is the actual number moving on a four minute shower uses 1.7 kilowatts of energy while a 10 minute shower uses 4.3 kilowatts of energy so we need to calculate the percentage increase in kilowatts of energy used when taking a four minute shower compared to taking a 10 minute shower and we actually are given the formula so in the formula we must take the kilowatts for a 10 minute shower first and we know that the kilowatts for a 10 minute shower are 4,3 10 minute shower 4,3 then we must minus the 4 minute shower kilowatts for the 4 minute shower the kilowatts are 1,7 Divide again by the 4-minute shower, 1,7 again. Multiply by 100. Remember, you're not going to include the percentage in your calculation. This percentage just tells you that your answer will be a percentage. So let's do that quickly. All right, so plug into the formula. Plug that into your calculator, and you'll see you'll get 152,94%. So I just rounded off to two decimal places. And that is your answer moving on all right give one possible reason why you would advise someone to use a low flow shower head rather than a normal shower head the most obvious reason would be to save water all right the last question 3.2.3 all right we need to use an annexure for this one all right calculate the range of the number of liters of water used during a two minute shower and an eight minute shower using the normal shower head all right there are two parts to this question first of all we must look at the normal shower head this is what they tell us the normal shower head so we are looking at the darker uh, bar graph right mm -hmm. not the light one because the normal shower head key shows that we must look at the dark bar graph okay so and then again the other part of the question is we need to calculate the range so the biggest minus the smallest so if you look at the eight minutes at eight minutes uh, at eight minutes we've got 120 liters being used and we're gonna minus the two minute we always for the range it's always the biggest minus the small the smallest and then for the two minute here if you look at the taco bar we'll see that it's between 20 and 40 so that would be 30 liters 120 minus 30 will give you 90 liters All right that's the end of question three thank you